I just want to record this very quickly before the video starts. I want to say sorry and I hope this video still will be possible to watch but I'm still learning how this microphone works and I realized not only I need to change settings on a camera but also I needed to change on a microphone which I didn't do so it was all the time on a maximum volume so my voice is really not sounding very good right now. I'm hoping you still staying and will watch this video to the end. Thank you again so much for understanding and let's start the video. Hi everyone, so my name is Ruby and in today's video we're gonna talk a little bit about this thing that is in the background. This is Bigot T4 electric unicycle and just incredible, just something that is so outstanding, so just different than everything else that I know and I know a lot already things that are electrical, let's call it that way, that I'm very surprised. It's the closest thing I can imagine to have that is so close to flying, except going up and down, but it's like already crazy good. Alright, so without hesitations or anything like this, let's start this video with the intro. <laughs> So, the wheel is actually very big. I feel like it's maybe a little bit bigger than in 9Bot Z10. So, the wheel rubber here actually looks fairly big, I would say. It's 16 by 3 and it sounds small, uh, rather small, but comparing to 9Bot Z10 that I had for some time, somehow this wheel looks a little bit bigger, which it's not. So it's pretty surprising to me. I mean, I believe it's bigger from 9 but Z10, but somehow when I'm looking at this wheel, it's like like a tank looking. Like this is definitely not a toy. <laughs> Which 9 but Z10 was actually the wheel that was not looking like a toy. So it's also 17 inches tall and the pedals are kind of like spiked pedals but are not really spiked pedals because you can't adjust the spikes on it but it's like I feel like maybe this like CNC modeled or maybe this is just metal that was formed uh, in some way or another but it's the same as is in Bigode M4 M104 yes I'm pronouncing this very good so those are the new spiked pedals and I must say the grip on them is not the worst, okay? Uh, it was much worse on stock pedals from Nightbot Z10. This is the only comparison I can make because this is the only EUC I ever tried in my life besides this one. So there on those like very stock pedals of this Nightbot, when I went on even grass that had a little bit of uh, like water on it, right away I couldn't stand on this uh, EUC. It was too, too slippery. It was like so bad that I couldn't stand uh, on this EUC because uh, my legs were slipping to the point that I even almost fell down because of this. And on those spiky pedals thingy, uh, it's good. I'm not really falling down. I feel a little bit maybe slippery, but I still feel kind of locked in. The controller of this EUC is on top. And there's one major issue with it. I'm not sure what's going on with it. I know it was happening to other wheels from Bigode and it's that when it's cold and really can get cold because it's winter right now so this is especially the moment where this thing can happen. When it's too cold the lights just not working. Front light, back lights, stop screen where we can see our speed, battery and mileage, nada, no. It's just not working. So I'm editing the video and I realize some of my files are corrupted and exactly the ones that are about the screen not working and front and back lights. But I remember I went to the store like an hour ago and it was cold. So <laughs> I believe the lights are not working right now. So let me turn on the wheel. Exactly. It's not working. The wheel is working. It's spinning but the lights are not working. So probably if I'm gonna do like this a few times, okay, oh, it's already showing up. So the wheel just needs to be warmed up a little bit and then it's coming back to life. Um, 
the main lights are not gonna wor work up. Not they're they trying, they trying, okay? And boom, it's working. So when the wheel will get a little bit warmer, everything starts to work again. So if this is important to you, <laughs> the lights, let's say it's night and it's not working, don't worry, you can just warm up the wheel just by pushing it forward and backwards so or just starting to ride it. Anti-spin button is right beside the power button and I feel like those buttons are very good, very clicky, nothing wrong with them, at least for me. So that's a big thumbs up for me, like even two of them. There is also the trolley handle, if you press the button it's extending, but it's not extending so much that you can really comfortable go with it to the store or something like this. It's there, but it's like very flimsy and under it there are two charging ports. I don't know who decided it's a good idea. I mean, it is a good idea if you have two 5 amps charger and uh, then you can charge the wheel quicker, but I feel like it's charging already very quick, about like 3 hours, so who needs quicker? I'm not really sure it's not me, definitely. I would prefer to have instead of this one charging port, maybe USB port, USB-C or A, it doesn't really matter as long as there is USB, but it's not there. Sadly, it's pretty hard to grip this wheel, to carry it, let's say upstairs or downstairs. I really need to help myself with my legs to get it up or something, because it's not like I can't handle the weight, but it's just really not comfortable and I need to really use uh, my hands to grab under the light and under the seat. There are two screws, but they're not bothering me much, so pretty heavy. So I don't understand people that are saying they're getting this wheel because they want something lighter so they can carry it somewhere. No, it's it's heavy, trust me. <laughs> there is no Bluetooth speaker, but the lights uh, in the front and on the back, let's go back to it actually, are amazing. Like the back lights, I can't really complain about them because first of all, they are there, right? So that's already very good and the front lights is just something that I would never ask for something better than that because it's already better than I would ever expect. Why I'm saying even like this because I had electric skateboards where I needed to buy some shred lights let's say here are the lights that I'm talking about there's a red one there's a white one I had like 10 of those probably I lost maybe six of them Really, I even text uh, the shred light, they provide me with two for free because I lost them, which is amazing of them that they actually send me because I lost one, actually two and they send me two. That's like something out of this world for me that company cares this much about you if you lose the light, but yeah, that's very good. I mean, it's also maybe probably a little bit on them because the mounts are not holding good enough those lights That's why they re-engineering those mounts all the time And this is the thousand lumen one which is very good But it's not amazingly good uh, From what I know right now after using it for extremely long time, but if you want the review Okay, it's gonna be here right over here. There's a review of this light shred lights thousand lumens but I was using those lights for skateboards. I was using it for one wheel because one wheel is just the worst light ever. I was using it for also electric scooters because the lights in electric scooters are often also not very good. And right now it's first time in my life where I don't need to use external lights like this and then take it and put it to the charger at home. No, 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 no. The lights are just insanely good. There are four lights, five watts each, and there are plenty bright like more than plenty bright Trust me. so this EUC have really amazing light and I already learned very nicely how to do things like this right Hop. very cool the light is really bright and the bridge just amazing okay and also when I'm stopping right I'm stopping right now the lights getting dimmer and if I'm going again, the light is turning again much brighter. There will be someone that will say, oh, oh there are more bright light. Yeah, you're coming from EUC, that is $4,000. What are you even talking about? Like, literally, it's like 
5,000 or 6,000 lumens. Depends on uh, which specification you're gonna check on which website. So everywhere is different. 5,000 or 6,000. So I'm gonna say it's the same like in the $4,000 wheel. Other gonna say it's not. So like it's confusing. But now you know something more. Motor of this wheel is 2,500 watts, and it's great. But I don't feel like I'm the one to push this wheel to its maximum. I'm just learning, right? So I'm not even thinking about pushing this wheel to its limits. I just know that when I'm accelerating or doing anything, this wheel can get very quickly, very wobbly, and also I don't feel this extreme acceleration like from any skateboard. The skateboard can have like twice as low wattage uh, in motors, let's say, can have like 1000 watts uh, in each wheel 500 and this thing still I don't feel like can have as much acceleration. It can be boosted board, it can be backfire zealot, it can be uh, hurricane, the one that is from Mipo. It's, this one is insane acceleration actually, but yeah, this wheel is like, it's trying but it can't do it, I feel like. But it's probably because I can't do it. It's not like this wheel can't do it. I'm the one that can't push this wheel to its potential, maybe. By the way, in a box, we also getting like those fuses, two of them, if we will ever need them for a charger. But we also getting these things. Okay, it's four of them. Two already installed in a wheel and two separate ones that we can put, let's say, on top of the suspension. There is 100 millimeters of travel in this CNC machined suspension. I'm not really sure how much exactly I will have uh, deducting this piece, which is like two centimeters, I believe, or something like this. But uh, yeah, the suspension is really good and I'm loving it so, so much. Now I can't really understand why I would ever buy an anyone that tried suspension to take something without suspension. This is like game changer and I'm really not feeling like ever getting any UC without it. It's really the greatest thing ever. When I'm going on a street, okay, it's not like the smoothest thing ever. I'm still going a little bit up, a little bit down. I feel this in my legs, but at the same time, it's like taking, let's say like earbuds. There is noise cancelling, it's never gonna cancel everything around you, right? But it's good to the point that you can listen to music, let's say, in a subway, in a train, and not hear almost anything around you, so you can focus on, let's say, your podcast, you can focus on the video, music, whatever that is, you just have very good time while listening. So it's the same point here, you really can enjoy the ride and not think, not really think about every single bump there is because it will just try to avoid it by taking the wheel a little bit up, down, something. It will a little bit go on the pedals, right, uh, that you're standing on, but it's still just amazing thing. You can go literally on almost any curb you want uh, because you can just go foom a little bit down, then it's like a spring going up so the wheel can follow that and it's just incredible, right? It's really the greatest thing ever. On a skateboard, you need to stop to zero, take the skateboard, put it again on the ground and then you can move on with the riding. On one wheel you're going, you need to slow down to maximum almost, doing like this and then boom up. Maybe it will work, maybe not, depends on the curb and your luck basically. Oh, this thing is just the easiest thing ever to go on anything. It's also 1800 watt hours battery inside, it's like four different packs of the batteries and this will cost you maybe like 20 cents per charge something like this plus minus 20 cents depending really of where are you located and how much it costs you uh, for per kilowatt right it cost me about 13 to 14 cents per kilowatt so it will be like 20 cents or so to charge this thing because uh, there are many variables like the charging heating up not charging it maybe how it should there are like so much variables but at the end of the day it should be about 20 cents and looking at that 
this thing can do okay how it's on specification 150 kilometers of distance which let's take it with really big grain of salt let's say 100 kilometers you can do 90 kilometers you can do on this thing this is already plenty i'm not gonna even swear but this is really plenty of mileage at least for me so i'm really happy with it because now i know i don't really need to ever charge this thing like if i want to go to the store one mile away that's like almost not taking any percentage of the battery of this wheel it's like not taking almost anything if i want to go let's say somewhere five miles away it's still like five miles here five miles here this is still not taking much of the battery it will still show you three bars that's insane and somehow i'm looking on the screen on this wheel instead of on the camera which I probably should because now it's looking a little bit different like I'm not looking at you which I'm looking at you but also at me and the wheel so I need to work on that <laughs> and again you can tell me if this microphone is actually good or if I should be maybe a little bit closer to it then the voice would be maybe a little bit nicer sharper and also the blue eyes it's it's also a little bit nicer but I'm here so maybe it's also good I'm not really sure how it is exactly with the speed of this wheel. Maximum I did was 30 something kilometers an hour. That's 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 not much. That's like 16 miles per hour. Uh, this is very slow on electric skateboard. I don't. I never saw myself going this slow. Yeah, I was always maxing out every literally every electric skateboard. So, yeah, 30 miles per hour. I believe this thing can do. I believe it can go even faster, but I really need to put some foam pads there. <clears throat> of course, they are already providing some in here, which is insanely cool because I don't need to buy anything like this. There's also seat, which yesterday I was trying to learn for like 30 minutes and I didn't learn. Uh, I'm better, but I still can't uh, ride while seated. Like, no way. But yeah, I made something like this, uh, it's gonna be right now on the B-roll and it's very much helpful, it's very soft and really it's the best thing uh, that I could put on the wheel right now because now I feel like so much connection to the wheel while adding just this small piece of foam. When I'm actually putting this foam on power pads, it's just a game changer I would say. And also now other thing, there's also mudguard on the back which I'm not sure if it's working or it's not working, I didn't ride in rain yet but I'm hoping to do it one day or another, for now I'm a little bit scared, people saying it's not the greatest for, for riding in rain basically, which I don't believe it's made to ride in rain, I believe like 100% it should be fine with the rain, we'll see, but on top of it, on top of this small thing here, there's a rebound suspension adjustment and uh, also like uh, air intake uh, for the valve. So yeah, there's like many things. And I believe it's like 28 clicks of rebound adjustments, which is crazy. When I was playing with it, I couldn't believe really the difference, how much it's making. I will also play right now a video of me jumping on the suspension. It's looking great. Really. There's one thing which people are looking at right away after they getting this wheel. This space over here that cables are exposed and I don't see problem with it. it looks just very good. Very good, very well made with the uh, tape around the cable that should protect from water and literally everything about this wheel looks extremely premium. It's not made like amazingly designed or something but definitely people put so much work into that wheel to be as it is right now. So if you would have any more questions please leave a comment down below and also subscribe to the channel and leave a like so this way more people will know about this video, about this wheel and also when you're gonna leave a comment I can answer to it and make maybe another video about this wheel 
of course I will try to make some more content about it after I do a little bit more mileage but also there's an app to this wheel which I'm gonna show you for like a last thing all right so let's do it also before I'll show you the application right now I just turned on the wheel and you probably can hear some like noise here right okay so that's the noise of the wheel but I must say this wheel can be like just that silent when you're riding it. Right now you can hear something, the computer working, whatever, of course, but this can't even compare to, let's say, electric skateboard. When you ride an electric skateboard, you can hear like something like this, like it's working, it's just crazy with the belts, let's say. Mm, one wheel, of course, is very quiet. Uh, scooters can sometimes be a little bit loud. This thing is like that silent. Only thing that you can hear is literally the spikes on the tire, going on the road right like something like this but besides that this thing is just dead silent when you're riding on it all right here's the big old app to get it on android you need to go on their website on iphone you're just going to app store and downloading it which i didn't yet somehow but nevertheless it's fairly good app showing you how fast you're going battery also the temperature of the wheel which you might need i believe this way you can also tell when your lights will work or not because you can check the temperature, right? Which is important. There are also things like horn, which it doesn't sound like horn. It sounds like some random beeps. All right. Uh, will it help me ever? Probably not because the wheel needs to be turned on for me to play those beeps if I will lose it, let's say. And there's no way to lock the wheel fine there's option for lights cool and two more options to take a picture or video from our phone which why they did it i'm not really sure and also there are other things which you can see right over here on the bottom so you can stop the screen and read it by yourself but my total mileage is 43 kilometers uh, which you can tell from that that i didn't do really much on this wheel i got it I believe September 30th and right now is December 11th so not much day of me really owning that thing and also I don't have much time to ride it it's also very cold so uh, yeah when I have possibility to do it like yesterday I just went at some midnight or something and came back at 250 my legs were dead literally i was shaking so bad if talking about my legs it was cold which i was trying to protect those legs but didn't really work out i had just a very good jacket but the legs i guess still were a little bit too cold and also you know just new thing for me the muscles really need to develop a little bit more to just work with that huge wheel and to control it it really requires some different muscles than you usually would use. Let's say for actually skateboard, you need to you like develop some different muscles. For one, you need to. For this thing, of course, you also need to develop some different muscles. There's also a way to track your distance, your route, how you're riding, which maybe can be helpful for something. And also, there are the settings of these applications which you might or might not ever use which i will not use so i don't even understand most of the things like let's say led settings and there are like few led settings from zero to nine which i don't know what that even gonna change and other things like I'm, i don't know i'm not this good okay anyways thank you for watching this video and Again, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment down below so I can answer to it. And see you in another video. Bye-bye.